Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to take a look at automation of your trading and how it can be done in MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 with some really simple tools. So before we get going, hit that subscribe button and smash the like button and as always leave a comment down below of what you think of the video and what you'd like to see in the future. So why would we want to automate our trading? Well, in MetaTrader 4 there's some fantastic programming languages, strategy testers as well as other features to build custom indicators and expert advisors, which are effectively robots which will trade on our behalf. And we can program in a way that they will take a lot of the decision making out of the trade and a lot of the emotion and just do it whenever we're not at the screen. It just gives us a few additional tools we can add to our trading arsenal to make us overall better traders and just sort of filter out some of the decisions that we're making on a daily basis. Now in an ideal world, we could all program the best strategy and the best robot expert advisor and does everything for us. We can literally walk away and make fantastic profits on every one of our accounts. But from my experience, letting these things run wild, they can do a very, very small miscalculation. Before you know it, you've got a huge drawdown and the account's been blown. And one of the other reasons why I'm looking at doing this at the moment, I've got three or four different accounts I'm running on MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 and some of the copy of software is not working as well as it should do. So if I can run the same robot on multiple accounts and it's very, very simple strategies, I can basically just literally have one running and let them all do the same thing. It's always worth checking with your either prop trading firm or your brokers that actually allow expert advisors. Some of them say they do. And then in the past, I've run a particular one that I bought off the internet and they said that we run all expert advisors apart from this one because we don't like it because it makes too much money. So I'm gonna start out with a really, really simple strategy, which is effectively setting a high and low range in a particular trading session. And if it breaks out to the high side, we take a long. If it breaks to the low, we take a short. And I run this on the FTSE 100 and it works pretty well. And the reason why it works is that often we get into a, a range bound in the sort of after the initial mark opens, it goes a bit fluctuating. It can often go range bound. And the decision of that breakout doesn't often be made until whether the US comes online or a bit of news comes out around about 11.30, 12 o'clock. So by defining the range from 8.30 to 11.30, that allows all the morning sort of fluctuation to happen and then start working on other trend establishing throughout the day or a, a big breakout with a bit of news coming in the afternoon or the US session coming online. Often people get scared of programming, think it's really, really hard. I come from a, a slight IT background and done a bit of programming in the past. But even if you haven't got that level of experience, even if you're like a, a super user in Excel, a lot of the functionality that we're using the programming is also using Excel, for example, if statements. Now all we're saying with an if statement, if a condition is met, then do one thing, else do something different. So as an example, if price breaks above a certain level, then do a buy trade, otherwise do nothing. So let me just show you that logic working in Excel. So I'm just gonna do a very, very quick statement in Excel just to show what an if or an else statement would be. So what we have if the current price is greater than the breakout price. I want to do a buy, else do nothing. So you can see here, if that price now goes up greater than 6.930, trade will be a buy. So let's put that figure in. So 6.931, we get a buy. So I've now added a couple bits more logic to this. So for example, if the trade is going to be a buy, example here, if this cell here is equal to a buy, then our take profit is gonna be our breakout point plus 30. And similarly, if we have our buy, it's gonna be a take profit, it's gonna be 20 points away. So again, we'll move the current price into a zone where it's going to trigger. So that will be 6.931. We can see it's a buy with a take profit of 6.960 and a stop loss 6.910. So if we look at that example as a running of yesterday, we can see that the range from 8.30 after the initial noise of the opening, the low was at around about 6.896. And at about 11.30, we had a high of just above 6910. So in this example, we'll place a buy above there and a sell just below this, the low. As we can see in this example, price broke out above the range. It pulled back in and also then 
carried on and would have had to take profit. If we had an example, a long position, at the point where it would have broken out, put in our take profit of, let's say, 30 points, and a stop loss of 20. We can see at no point during this trade did we get into a stop loss, and when it continued its momentum, it would have hit the target pretty much at the close of the London session, around about 4.30, we would have hit our take profit point. So now we understand the logic and how the strategy works, it's time to start programming and building that into MetaTrader. Now the programming language itself is not the most difficult in the world to learn, but it will take a significant amount of time, especially if you've got no programming background. So for me, although I probably could learn it, it's much easier to use almost like a, a drag and drop uh, interface. And for that, I've used EA Builder. Now with EA Builder, you can get free access to that and allows you to create custom indicators in MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. If you want to go for the full lifetime support, it's about $97, I believe. And that allows you to actually create the automated strategies as well. I think $97 is a pretty good bargain for full lifetime support and access to the tool. As an example, if you were able to define what your strategy would be but not able to code it, then you might have to go out to Fiverr or other sites to get a coder or program to do it for you. And they could charge you $100, $200 just to get it up and running and working. And then you might have to go back and refine it whether market conditions change or the you want to change some of the parameters in the tool. So for me, $97, absolute bargain. So let's switch over to EA Builder and see how we can build that strategy. Okay, let's have a look how we can build an automated strategy using EA Builder. So we get the screen, click on New, and we're going to do a meta trade of four, and as a strategy. We can also choose Indicator if we want to. So as a strategy, let's give it a name, and I want to work on uh, the FTSE, and call it a break. Now from here, if we're going to open a buy order or go long, add a condition. Now we want to go when price is crosses above a support and resistance line. Now this is quite interesting because we want to run this on a five minute chart and look at the period between 8.30 and 11.30. Now that's three hours, which is 36 bars. And we want the time interval to end at a point of day. So if we want to break out from 11.30, We want to take our profit at 30 points. So in here, it will class as 300 pips. And we want a stop loss to be at 25, so that's 250 pips. That's a very simple, literally, breakout as price crosses above a breakout line. And if you look at the trading source of the language. See it's fairly comprehensive and quite complicated how it all builds together. So if we're doing this manually, we're going to take days to actually learn the language and actually get to a point where we could actually code that as simple as we did literally for a few clicks. And so to create the sell order, we do exactly the same. We basically price crosses below support, exact same parameters. And as you can see here, I've already put in the take profit and stop loss. Okay, so now we need to add the Expert Advisor into our MetaTrader 4. So if click on File and then Open Data Folder. And within here, MQ4, Experts. And all we're going to do is take where we've downloaded our MQ4, drag it into this location, and then restart our MetaTrader. You can now see under our expert advisors, we have the FTSE break. So we want to add that to our chart. All we do is literally drag it into the chart. Here we can say we want to add long and short positions. Click OK. And to get it to work, we need to click the auto trading button. As we can see at the top here, we now have a little smiley face. What you may notice here is the actual support and resistance lines are drawn, but are not actually accurate for today. 
because as an example, the MetaTrader here, my market watch is showing at seven o'clock and today in the UK, it's actually only five o'clock. So we've got a time sync difference of two hours within the actual servers and my computer. So for that, I'll need to modify my expert advisor and add two hours to my time. So I can either go into the actual advisor itself, example into EA Builder, and on the open trade, I could modify here and change that to 130, or I can actually change the code itself within MetaTrader. So we're searching in MetaTrader, we can see the actual time here is 11.30. So I need to change that to 13.30 for the long position and do the same thing for the short position. Save and obviously then need to do a restart on MetaTrader again. Okay, so by changing the chart to a five minute interval, that's why it gives us our 36 bars between the times of 8.30 and 11.30 UK time. And we can see we've got resistance bar here, 6.932 and our support of 6896. So at any point, if price now breaks through either of these, we'll actually be into a long or short trade. Okay, so we've loaded up the strategy tester within MetaTrader 4, and we've chosen our EA, the FTSE break, and we've assigned it to the UK100 FTSE on a five minute chart. And essentially what we do here is it will run the strategy I put it over the past just two or three days just so we don't get too much data coming in to see if it actually works. Hit the start button and see what happens. So we see lots of trades being placed. And if we look at the results, we see loads of winning trades and the graph very, very profitable. And the report itself shows that in that period of three days, it placed 96 trades, all of which were winners, and it got a 70% return. Now, the reason why it's doing that is every time the price breaks above and then breaks back below, it does another trade. And you can see there's been a massive number of trades all placed throughout the day, which in itself would not have done because we want this to be a one trade uh, set up, so it needs a bit of refinement there, but at least it gives us a, an indication that the strategy in itself does work and the programming and the code actually works within MetaTrader. So we've built it, it's not perfect, but we've got a foundation to actually fine tune and make sure it works. So what I'm gonna do is change that to a custom indicator and add that all to my live account so I'll be able to monitor and watch how it draws the support and resistance onto the charts at what time of the day. I'm also going to run that as a strategy on a demo account and just see how it places the orders and how it manages it. And once I can see that working in a live daily basis rather than just the strategy tester, I can also then fine tune to make sure it works and is more robust and then move on to my live accounts in a couple of weeks. Hope you've enjoyed this quick introduction into programming EAs and robots in MetaTrader. I'm gonna get a little more complicated as we go through and really come up with some fantastic strategies and obviously hopefully that will enable my trading to go from where it is now and accelerate to get way above into some much greater returns. See you soon. Cheers.